Hi guys, I'm back with another walk a day for season six, episode nine. No way out the breakdown. So I got we'll go through some clips and then I'll go after it, talk about it. So first off we wanna get in more depth of this of some of the image and stuff like that. Some things you might not you might Miss that I might go over and all that stuff. And yeah. So. First off, we'll talk about the thing that um, Daryl and uh, Sasha and Abraham with the, this is called Saviors. They're more likely like a, when Rick Daryl booms them and all that stuff. And here's the clip. So, you see the clip after he shoots him with the grenade launcher, and I think that's what it is. I'm not a little bit upset, so sorry. But, um, yeah, he shoots him and kills him. But in the comments, spoiler, that, um, Abraham found it and he used it on something. I think it might be them, but I don't know for sure. But, well, uh, Daryl used them because they took Daryl back there. And this man, he fed him and killed him. And Daryl's like, well, I'm gonna use this. So I would think he used them to store them because they probably did be destroy something I don't But, yeah, and then we'll get a clip of another, be another clip go before this, or after this, that, um, with the person's head that the guy was talking to and stuff like that. And yeah, so we'll keep riding with another clip of, here's the other clip that's got Lynn and Anth in the church. And they're in the church that they're trying to figure out a way to get, how to save Maggie off that platform where she was. And they talk about why should we live, our loved ones are dead. Well, I was trying to get through in this, uh, they're still here, it don't matter if they're live or dead, they're always going to be here with us. And then there was a quote from the church that says, Faith without work is dead, James 2 26. So, yeah, it really means the whole quote thing that. Lynn's trying to get the point of her telling her that all that stuff and all that stuff. So really good quote, a little minimum of the whole concept of what he's trying to pass, trying to get in a stay, not to don't keep running away. Because you're afraid that you, people you care about is going to die. People's going to die. No matter what happens. So you always will have them in your heart, heart and mind. So we're going to get into another clip and we'll get into the big scene. Here is the clips that you have seen is that it's right after Sam Dow when Sam breaks away from him. He's getting Carol what Carol told him from season five at the party that they're gonna eat you alive and all that stuff. He he keeps remembering about what Carol said. People dies. They're going to kill people. That they're going to be monsters. That he's going to die. They're going to eat him alive and stuff like that. And then Jesse and Carl and everybody's telling him it's okay. Come on. And then he gets bitten. And then Jesse breaks out and then comes her. She's keeping him and he's getting him alive. And then she is. And then. 
she just freaks out and she's hanging Carl's hands still. Rob's in shock. Rick's in shock. Here's a you might have seen in this clip, but now there's another clip of Rick freaking out. Yeah, so he's freaking out. He he cares for her, and he just it's done. He's having flashbacks of them out when they seen each other when they met for the first time. When he just got used to Alexander for getting her haircut, his haircut him, and at the party and stuff like that, he's shocked. And Carl was like. Because she's attached to him. And Rick chops her hand, her, Rick chops her hand off. And then, and all this Ron picks out the gun. And Michelle kills him. And there would be another two clips after our discussion. So, and then Ron, Michelle kills him. And then he really. If you see in this clip, that he really is pointing the gun towards Rick, saying, You, you, you. He blames Rick for everything for your. Dad's, he finds him for his dad's death. Now he's finding all this going on is happening right now with the Walker farm. And his mom, Jesse's dad, is sound there. He's like, it's your fault. And then when Michonne kills him, his gun fires off, and that's when car gets shot. So, you know, it's just, it's unreal. And. Rick picks Carl up and Michelle helps. She goes in her badass mode and she's trying to get, they're trying to get Carl saved from so he won't die at all. And they finally get work the firm rooms at to get him in there. But Rick's just lost it. So here's a clip of him losing his marbles. So all that going on, he guy lights and all that, he goes out there and fight. And then they all join and help him fight and stuff like that. And it's just unreal. But before all this, before uh Dana, no, Dana, no, I can't pronounce the woman that helps say Carl. She gets trapped with the walker. I mean, the, the band with the wolf with the baby on his head. They're out there and they're trying to find a way to escape because he's easy. Well, I think he's healed, but he's lost his marbles too. And there's a clip here that will. Well, it proves it. I'll show it in a minute. But he, then when they leave to go across over the wall, she gets kind of stands there, and then he comes back, and then he gets bit from the walker to save him, save her. And he said, "You did change because you came back to save me." And he said, "Yeah." So they was going to go in the front of me, took Carol, kills him. So, yeah. So here's the clip. So we're back with Glenn and Enos. They get to Maggie. Enos climbs up to save Maggie, and Glenn's distracting them from the herd from the walkers to save her. He shoots him, he runs out of ammo, and then he gets trapped the wall, and then here comes Walker. Maggie screams, so she's going to get eaten a lot after they've been reunited. So, it's just like, uh, after 
he has this freak out once before that we thought he was dead and then we went like, oh my god, he's going to die again. But Abraham and Sasha comes, saves him, and it's relieved. It is, and then we're like, just, it just, it just intense and all that stuff, and here's the clip. And Abraham, all of them, and with the gas truck, they all got to yell on top of the gas truck. And they back up to this lake, and Daryl uh, pulls, puts the gas in there, and they all come after that. Daryl again with that launcher, and psh, makes the water, it goes crazy, and stuff like that. And and then they all go in the bad act, uh, glider at your moment. She kills them and all that. It's cool, badass, and it's awesome. They used to they shoot each one like it looks like from a comet. They all killing and the workers going into the fire. And it was beautiful. It was unreal. And it was just amazing how. And that, well, how they done it. They all went together fighting to save Alexander, and they did. And it was just breathtaking. Here's a clip of the fire and so forth of Daryl shooting the, the rocket launcher to start the fire for life. So after all this thing, we get all the people from Alexander are sitting on plates at a porch after they are worn out. It's breathtaking. It's like they're worn out from fighting, killing all these walkers, but they defeat them and that's a good thing. And they get rested and then we get go in We see Daryl getting fixed, stitched up from other earlier incident with the saviors. And we'll go in the room and we show Holly and Judas, and it was so sweet. Yeah. All that stuff. And it's just unreal. And then we see Rick sitting by side with Carl, and he talks about that he thought the walls were safe for him and Judas, that he. Will rebuild, make the walls suspend to make it work for him, us, for the Carl and Judith, really, and for everybody else. And he never felt this before. He said he never felt safe before the, all this happens. The world changed and stuff. And he's like, I want to get this new world. For this new world to protect you, Carl, and stuff. He's, he just thinks he's son to that. And then Carl wiggles. Carl's in a combo. And it's just so sad. And so tragic, but it's just unreal. So, here is the clip. So here, that's all I was going to say. I hope you guys like it. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoy what, the best of my knowledge. If I miss anything, please leave it in the comments below. If, what else that I missed from this break now. And for, for Friday, probably, my predictions for episode 10. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.